Hello everyone and welcome to my Format High Tech Firecrest Magnetic 100mm Filter Holder Review How to use it, what's it all about and what's in the box video So um, I'm going to break this video into different chapters So please have a look at the chapter that's most relevant to you I'm going to be talking about using this filter with photography And also for the cinematographers out there too as well And um, yeah, let's just get into it and see what it's all about so the first thing we're going to do is just pop the box open. So let's see what's inside. Uh, hey, hey, nice carrying case. Move this stuff out of the way. And inside the carrying case, let's just pop all these bits and pieces out. The first thing we're taking out here now are the end shields. So there's two solid end caps. So those end caps, those end caps fit over the top of the filter holder itself. They're, they're light shields as such. Uh, there's another two. So why are there two more? Because they're vented. You can see there's, hopefully you can see that, there's actually holes going through. So you can actually slide your graduated filter or if you're using bigger filters, you can slide them through too as well. I'll get back to the bigger filter part in a minute. So um, there we go. The filter holder itself, of course. Now this may look Fairly familiar to a few of you out there, if you know the Firecrest Mark II filter holder, it has the lovely blue knob on the side there for actually fixing it onto the, the, um, the rotating ring. And also there is the nice little thumb wheel here too as well for rotating your CPL. So I'm um, going to get back to that in a second there now too as well again. Uh, next, let's see what else is in the box or in the bag. So we have, I think that's, yeah, that's everything. Get that out of the way. So before we go any further, I just really want to clarify something. That the filter holder is not attached onto your lens magnetically. So that's a good thing in my mind because I wouldn't trust magnets when you have two or three hundred pounds, euros or dollars worth of gear inside this. You bump it off something and it goes flying down due to the weight of the filters and also the filter holder itself. So that's a positive thing in my mind. Just a really fast recap on what you get in the kit. You get the filter pouch itself, you get two vented end caps for using your graduated filters or longer ND filters, and you get two non-vented or solid end caps. Uh, you get the magnetic lens cap, which is incredibly handy and a very nice little touch. You get the magnetic CPL. You get two rotating rings, an 86 to 86 millimeter rotating ring and the 86 to 82 millimeter rotating ring. So, and you get the filter holder too as well, of course, and you get two lens tread adapters. So there is a 72 millimeter to 86 millimeter lens tread adapter and a 77 to 86 millimeter lens tread adapter. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop these two over here for now because I'm gonna bring over my camera. And so, so how do you use it? How do you fit it in your camera? And how does all this work? On this camera, I have a 77 millimeter lens tread. So what I can do is I get my 77 millimeter adapter, which is this fella, and I'm gonna screw this onto the front of the lens. So that's screwed on now. And next thing I need to do is get the rotating ring. So if I screw on the rotating ring here now, so I now have enough to actually mount the filter holder onto the lens. So what basically happens is it goes on it fits on on the side with the small little, um, if you can see that, the small little thumb wheel here now. So what you do is pop that on and then tighten up the thumb screw on this side and it's actually fitted. So to release it, you just unscrew the thumb screw and it pops off. So if I just pop it down there now and if I unscrew this and then it hinges out from that side and it's off. So just to pop it back on along again and tighten it up and that's it. The magnetic CPL then simply just pops in place. That's it. And it is very sturdy. That is not going to, you know what? You're not, you're not accidentally going to knock off the CPL as I shake that quite a bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> the lens might fall off before the CPL does. And to take it out, just use your fingers and squeeze in along and off she pops. Now, um, the one thing I haven't mentioned here so far again is the lens cap. It's a metal lens cap and it's felt on the other side to help protect your lens. So I can just pop it on. But the real beauty of this is, let's say if I'm shooting on a specific beach here now, and I would say, right, I must pack up all my gear and I need to go to that lighthouse or go to another location that's quite close by. I don't want to go be taking on and off my rotating rings and lens tread adapters and whatnot 
but you would need to do that to fit your lens cap, your normal lens cap. But now with the magnetic lens cap, I can simply just pop this on and now my lens is very well protected and very safe inside my camera bag. So that is huge. That is incredibly handy. Now the one thing I haven't talked about as of yet is what's in this bag. So what's in the bag, Kieran? There's an extra set of filter slots. Now you might ask yourself here, is the filter holders here, Kieran? Now you might ask yourself, why do you have an extra set of filter slots? Well, the filter holder itself comes with two slots. So that's enough to put in your, let's say your ND filter and a graduated filter. But let's say for argument's sake, no, um, if you were out shooting, you want to pop in two graduated filters and an ND filter. There's only two slots, so you can't do it. But what you can do is you can fit these so you actually have three slots. So you could then use two ND filters and a grad filter or a diffusion filter and a grad filter and an ND filter. You can use whatever combination you want. Normally speaking, I'd only ever use two filters in the filter holder. The one exception to this would possibly be cinematography, which I'm going to get into. Again, this is all broken down to chapters, so I'll have a look at that section. Now in all this, you might quite well be wondering, what's a rotating ring and what does it do? Well, the rotating ring is basically just the physical connection between the filter holder and your lens. So it pops in on one side, and then I had that locked, so I'm gonna just release it, yep, and tie it back up long again. So it's called a rotating ring because, again, the wheel on the side here, when I turn this wheel, that wheel then, when it's mounted onto the lens, sure look, what I'll do is, I'll show you all together. Pop the CPL on there. So when I actually turn the thumb wheel on the side, it's actually rotating the CPL there now. So you can see that turning away there, and it rotates quite freely. So your rotating ring is actually the physical connection between the camera lens and the filter holder. And it also houses both the magnetic lens cap and also the magnetic CPL. So why do you need the lens tread adapters? Well, you need the lens tread adapters because most lenses are different sizes. Now the common ones as of late would be around 82, 77 and 72 millimeter. So straight out of the box it will work on 86 mil, 82 mil, 77 mil and 72 millimeter. Now you can obviously buy other lens tread adapters too as well to take you from 86 to 58 or 86 to 52 or 86 to 49 for example. If you are interested in buying the Format High Tech Firecrest Magnetic 100 millimeter filter holder then please do feel free to use my discount code. I'm going to leave it in the comments down below or the description down below. So check that out and um, that will save you at least 10%. So definitely worthwhile doing that. The next thing I want to talk to you about is cinematography. Uh, <laughs> Kieran, why would a cinematographer, videographer, want to use a 100mm filter holder? You might well be asking yourself, well, there's a number of different um, there's a number of different reasons why. Let's say if um, if you're shooting on a run and gun setup, you don't want to be carrying around a big heavy mat box. You know, you want you want a nice small compact system you can easily pack away inside in your bag and use small, quite light filters. Like the as I grab them here now, you have the likes of the Firecrest Super Slim filters. So they will actually slide in. So. And they are the Firecrest Ultra. This is actually the first time I'm sliding a filter in here. And away she goes. So that is a cinema grade filter now inside in the Firecrest 100 millimeter filter holder. So again, this brings us back to the point about the three slots. No, because you might, you might be looking for a specific look in your footage. You could be shooting a high dynamic range um, shot, let's say, out of the beach there now, and there's an actor walking along the beach. You have quite a bright scene, the sun above behind. You might be saying, look, I need to use a graduated filter. Fair enough. Pop in your graduated filter. Then you're looking for your ND filter to narrow down your depth of field because it is quite bright. So, again, that's your two slots taken up. But you might also be thinking, oh, do you know, I'd love to use a diffusion filter. So that's where your third slot comes in. You can pop in a diffusion filter in here too as well, and you can use all three. And as I say, that is really light. So if you're shooting on a gimbal, or even if you're shooting on a drone, that is an incredibly handy alternative to give you incredibly professional results. Instead of using your standard matte box, which is big and bulky, and it's also sticking out quite a bit further, so if you're shooting on a gimbal again, as I say, it's that extra leverage is gonna cause problems. So, um, 
So yeah, if you are into cinematography, this is an incredibly handy solution. Magnetic CPL, three slot filter holder, you can get the Firecrest Ultra, super slim cinema filters, and the Firecrest Diffusion filters, the Black Super Mists, the super slims too as well. And again, I've reviews and everything else and links for all these in the description down below so you can go read the reviews as there's a discount code in there too as well so do check that out and if you have any questions on filters or if you have any questions on the firecrest magnetic filter holder please do feel free to ask me i'm only too happy to help and um other than that i will be posting a video of me using this out and about fairly soon i just haven't had a chance as of yet so it literally just arrived in the door so um other than that, first impressions, really like it so far. The magnetic CPL is going to be handy, but it's the magnetic lens cap. I might just be a sucker for little toys, but I love that. I absolutely love that. The fact I can leave the rotating wing on. I'm packing up my gear now, and instead of taking everything off, I can just literally pop off the CPL, pop on the lens cap, and I can head away and do whatever I want. Pop the camera inside in the camera bag, or even if I'm using the shoulder strap, walk around the place. It's very solid. So I'm... Um, yeah, thanks again for watching. And by the way, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, it means a lot to me and also helps the channel grow too as well and encourages me to do more videos like this. If you don't want to see more videos like this, then don't subscribe. And um, thanks again, everyone. Uh, see you out there.